Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking specifically at lesson 8.0 part 3 and this is just going to focus on how to find the area and perimeter of trapezoids. Today there's going to be seven things written down in your notes. Let's go ahead and get started with it. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to find the area and perimeter of a trapezoid. What I have here is a picture of a trapezoid and you do want to make sure that you copy and label it exactly how you see it. Um, the perimeter of a trapezoid is the same as always. You're just going to be adding outer sides. For area of a trapezoid though it's a little bit different. When you're trying to find the area of a trapezoid this is the formula that's going to be given to you on your formula sheet. One half height parentheses b1 plus b2 that stands for half of the height times the bases added together. And bases are just going to be these parallel lines that you see B1 and B2. B1 could be at the top and B2 could be at the bottom, just as long as you've chosen the two parallel lines. Another way you might want to think about it though, this might be a little bit easier to understand, so you can also write that one down as well, the second one, but just keep in mind this one will be given to you for your test. You just need to make sure that you need to, you know what to do exactly with that formula sheet. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video if you haven't done so already. Copy everything you see please on this slide and then once you're done click play. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to find the area of a trapezoid. So these are just some simple steps. The first thing you're going to do is add the bases. Remember that's B1 and B2. And then you're going to multiply that by the height. And then you'll divide it by 2. So very, very simple. Add the bases, multiply by the height, and divide everything by 2. Let's go ahead and take the time now to pause the video. And once you're done, click play so we can go on and try some questions. Keeping this in mind to find perimeter, there's one thing you do not need. That thing, correct, is the height. You do not need the height whenever you're finding perimeter because only perimeter deals with the outer edges. Sometimes the height will be an outer edge, and that's okay, um, but in this case, this one's in the middle, and so you do not need it. So let's go ahead and look at how we're going to find these. The first thing we're going to try is just finding the perimeter um, of this trapezoid. So I'm going to be focusing on 8, 14, 18, and 22. So I'm just going to add those together real quick on my calculator. After adding those together, you should get 62 inches. 8 plus 14 is 22, plus another 22 is 44, plus another 18 is 62. For the area, remember we're going to be doing a little bit differently. We're going to be adding the bases together, so B1 plus B2, timesing it by the height, and then dividing everything by 2. So this is what that looks like. My B1 and B2 are my two parallel lines, 14 plus 22. And then I'm going to multiply by the height, which is 9, and then I'll divide that answer by 2. Okay, so I'm typing in my calculator, 14 plus 22, that is 36, and then I'm going to take 36 and multiply it by 9, that is 324, and then I'm going to divide it by 2, and I'm going to get 162 inches squared. So once again, I added the bases. I multiplied by the height, and then I divide everything by 2. Let's see if you can try one. You're going to pause the video, try this one on your own. Once you're done, click play to check your work. Alright, so perimeter, we're going to be adding all the outer edges. 5 plus 4 plus 2.5 plus 4. For that one, you should get 15.5 centimeters. For the area, a little bit different, you're going to be adding the bases, so that's 2.5 plus 5 times the height, which is 3, and then dividing by 2. 2.5 plus 5 is 7.5. 7.5 times 3 is 22.5, and 22.5 divided by 2 is 11.25. That's going to be your answer in centimeters squared. How'd you do? Again, here's another one you're going to try. Take the time now to pause it. Once you're done, click play to check your work. So we have our perimeter, 16 plus 9 plus 12 plus 19. Notice I'm ignoring the number in the middle. 16 
plus 9. That's going to give us a, a perimeter of 56 yards for area. I'm going to add my bases. 19 plus 9 times it by my height, which is 8, and then divide it by 2. 19 plus 9 is 28. And I'm going to take 28 times 8, just showing all my work here. That is 224. And then 224 cut in half is 112, and that'll be yards squared. How'd you do? Here's another one you're going to try. Let's pause it. Notice here the height is the outer edge as well. So you actually will use the height in this one to find your perimeter too. Go ahead and try. Click play when you're done. So for my perimeter, I'm adding all the sides, the outer edges, which is 8.8, .8, 16, 7, and 21, and I get 52.8 meters. The area, I'm going to add my bases together, 21 and 16. I'm going to times it by the height, which is 7, and then I'll divide it by 2. 8.8 .8 is not the height because 8.8 .8 is slanted. Okay, The height has to be standing straight up. Notice here, this also helps you again with your right angle. 21 plus 16 is 37. 37 times 7 is 259. And then 259 divided by 2 is 129.5 meters squared. Okay, here's another one you're going to try. Let's just keep trying these to make sure we're good at them. Pause it. Once you're done, click play. I went ahead and set up both of my problems. 8 plus 9 plus 8 plus 15 will give us our perimeter, and that is going to give us 40 centimeters. For my area, I'm adding my height, or bases, 15 plus 9. That's going to give me 24. And then I'm going to multiply it by 7, because 7 is my height. So 24 times 7 was 168. And then 168, dividing all that by 2, to give me 84 centimeters squared. Okay, here's one of your last ones. Go ahead and take time now to pause it. You might need to maybe rotate your tablet or your phone just to make sure you're using the correct numbers. Once you're done, click play. So here I've got, I've already set up everything I needed. For perimeter, I'm doing 9 plus 8 plus 12 plus 10, and you should get 39 millimeters. Make sure that you set up correctly or solve correctly your area. 12 and 9 are B1 and B2. Those are the two parallel lines. 12 plus 9 is going to give me 21. And I'm going to take that and multiply by 8. 8 is my height because it's also connected to my right angle measurement. 21 times 8 is 168. And then I'm going to take that number and divide it by 2. And I get 84 millimeters squared. How did you do? That's going to conclude our video, so just make sure you have your seven things written down in your notes. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Next time.